It's getting close to night, which is a good thing for us because we are actually tougher at nighttime. Oh, look at that. <laughs> one shot, one kill. My goodness. Hey, hey, you want some too? Who else wants some? I heard more footsteps. Oh man, that was that was crazy. I took that bear's <laughs> zombie bear's head off in one shot. Welcome back, everybody. Seven Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play seven days on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the wasteland biome generated by the nitrogen world generator. All right, uh, so it is Horde 105. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you the start and the finish of the horde, but we're not going to, I'm not going to record the whole thing because we've already done that a few times now. And it's really just, you know, just the same thing over and over. The difference between now and then though, is that I'm using the agility build now and I have maximum, um, demolitions experts. So we are five of five. And so we're going to do maximum damage even more than we did before, uh, with our explosives. So that's going to be great. Uh, any shooting we do, of course, we'll use the uh, SMG, and I also uh, have uh, our Magnum here, and we're using armor-piercing rounds for all of that. So we've got plenty of explosives, all the stuff we need for repairing, and so this should be a good Horde Knight. If you take a look in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see that I am uh, level 90 right now, and I'm, I'm in about mm, 20... 25%, maybe not quite a quarter of the way uh, into level 90. So I'm expecting to get at least two levels uh, tonight, so hopefully by uh, the end, the morning we will be level 92 when uh, we're done with that then we're going to get started on our tier 5 uh, Daishong tower quest and that's going to take us you know probably two to three episodes to get through that whole thing we'll do the same thing that we did uh, with the library skyscraper where I'm going to time lapse and you know put some you know put some music on and have interjecting commentary as we go through that because this is going to take a very long time to clear that entire tower but it should be fun. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to continuing to use our really awesome uh, stealth build. Just very much enjoying this stealth build here as we're, you know, in the end of the game. I think that's pretty much it. You'll see that I have uh, four, I'm sorry, three Grandpa's Learning Elixirs in slot four on my toolbar. Uh, so we'll use those to give us a little boost when we get started. And so like I said, I'll keep you with me uh, for the first part of this. And then I'll also show you the last part. And we'll get started then on that Tier 5 Daishong Tire Quest. All right. It is Horde 105. Let's see if we can get at least two levels tonight. We should be able to. I'm going to let them build up um, before we start. Got a cop there. So, we'll, yeah, we'll just get... Wow, that's a lot of cops. We'll get a big group of them going. We already got a demo right out, right, right for the first wave. How crazy is that? Uh, incidentally, we are game stage uh, 402. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got some nasty zombies. We got some nasty zombies coming in here. We'll wait just a little bit longer. Let them get all built up. We'll probably get some cops spitting. All right, so... Let's go ahead and we're going to throw five of these down. We're going to drink this. And then we're going to give them a nade. Let's see how many points we get from this first blast. 13,000. Dog, I was hoping for a little more than that. All right, whatever. <laughs> Come on, get down there. Okay, that was a cop explosion, and it looked like I actually got some XP from that because of it blew up the explosives that I threw down there. I've noticed that sometimes they will blow up my pipe bombs, and sometimes they won't. But those cops are a pain in the ass because they steal a lot of my XP. And it looks like they're sending a lot of them to us tonight, too. 15,000 for that one, okay. Sixteen thousand. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, cop blew that one up, but he, I got, ouch! I got three thousand XP in the process, so that wasn't too bad, I guess. I generally do better with this design uh, with fewer. Twenty-four thousand on that one. Nice. Uh, with fewer cops. Sometimes it doesn't send very many cops after me. Sometimes it sends a ton of them. 
This design works really well, though, overall. Like I said, the best, uh, probably the best hard base design I've ever built. And, you know, the general idea of this it wasn't even my idea to begin with. I just, you know, kind of took it and made it my own. Ooh, we got hit hard that time. Let's take a bandage. Uh, maybe do a little bit of repairing, too, while we let him build back up. All right, now, let's see if we can shoot the cops after the initial explosion to kind of keep them from exploding and stealing my XP. And we're at the next level. Beautiful. Okay, shoot the cops. Don't let them blow up. Don't see any down there. All right, cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to be what we're going to do for the rest of the night. I will see you guys in the morning and show you uh, how we did. All right, guys. It is morning. And we have done absolutely fantastically amazing tonight. Um, take a look. I've gotten four levels tonight. Don't you blow up. Don't you blow up. Been able to uh, control the cop explosions pretty well. And uh, we have just mopped in the XP. So if you recall... We started off with... Um, is that the last of them? No, we got one more. A couple more. Let's just finish them off with our... Look at all the bags down there, too. Awesome. Uh, if you recall, we started off where just about a quarter of a way or so into 90 and we are now halfway through 94 so basically we got four and a quarter levels tonight uh that is just amazing so four points to spin um before we do that though let's go ahead and put our luckies on and go down and get those bags looted uh first and then we'll spend our points uh you can see i have definitely have a little bit of damage from you know the cops bit and whatnot uh, to repair but nothing major so it all went uh quite well I repaired uh, the fences around 1 a.m. in the morning uh, which is typically whoop what in the hell just happened that was weird <laughs> uh, which is what I typically do and uh, damage down here they actually managed to break through the steel this is only the second time I've seen them do this since I started using this horde base uh, but I still didn't have any demo explosions as far as I could tell. I don't know. We probably had maybe 10, 10-ish demos uh, throughout the night. Uh, so, and remember too, even if they did break this, there's two more layers of steel behind this. Uh, so they're not, they're not going to go anywhere before the Horde Knight gets out. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got for the loot skis. And last but not least, more shotgun shells. Excellent. Okay. So nothing real super fantastic in that loot, but decent stuff nonetheless. Let's go ahead and consume that. And so as far as our points go, uh, we I, I've actually been focusing on pain tolerance. And um, fortitude is, we need to get fortitude up to five if I want pain tolerance three, which I do. Um, I also want to get healing factor to three because of the fact that it'll, it'll actually restore my, my maximum cap. So let's go back to fortitude and we're going to sink uh, two points into that to get it to five. And then let's go ahead and let's we'll see, we got two points left. Let's just get pain tolerance up to three and then we'll get healing factor up to two. And then uh, when we get our next level, which is like in less than a half a level away uh, from here, we'll take animal, which again, uh, gain one max health every 40 seconds. And that will restore our health cap in addition to, you know, gaining um, health every 12 seconds with natural healing. So that's going to be good. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, get all the repairs done here in the base. Go home, uh, do some inventory management, get ready to go, and then I will meet you at the Daishong Tower, and we will start 
our Tier 5 Daishung Clear Quest. It's going to be awesome. All right, I'll see you then. All right, guys, we are here at the Daishung Tower, ready to do the Tier 5 Clear Quest. So what we're going to do before we start the quest proper is I'm going to go around the perimeter and loot the cars. We'll kill the bear. And we're also going to go after the, uh, we're going to double loot the end loot too, which is all the way up in that corner room up there. So let's get that done first, and then we'll start the quest uh, for real. It's getting close to night, which is a good thing for us because we are actually tougher at nighttime. Oh, look at that. <laughs> one shot, one kill. My goodness. Hey, hey, you want some too? Who else wants some? I heard more footsteps. Oh man, that was that was crazy. I took that bear's <laughs> zombie bear's head off in one shot with the magnum. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we're using the uh, armor piercing uh, rounds uh, with the magnum. I'm gonna start carrying it around. Uh, it's gonna be our you know our close to mid range, kick the shit out of stuff weapon. Um, all right, so yeah, let's uh, let's go around and uh, loot first. We'll go do the you know the double loot. And then we'll start the quest for reals, and by that time it should be getting pretty close to nightfall, and then we can take advantage of all of our uh, nighttime powers that we have. Okay, looks like the place is clear. We should have our... We got our luckies on. Okay, so let's loot. All right, we'll take that, we'll scrap this, take the flashlight mod. None of the rest of this stuff is really worth anything. I'm just going to leave it in there. And uh, let's see if there's anything behind here. Okay. So we just have this chest here to do. Let's open it up and see what's inside, and then we'll have to decide what we're going to take and what we're going to leave. Okay, so we definitely want this for sure. Um, we'll take the ammo. Everything but this really is worth taking. So let's see. We need to make six spots, okay? And then we'll loot all of that, and we'll scrap this. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, I will meet you down at the Jeep, and then we'll start the quest for real. So just like we did with the uh, bookstore skyscraper, uh, we're going to do this in time-lapse style. So uh, I'm going to um, just comment at uh, different intervals, and then the rest of the time we'll speed it up and we'll play some music and have some fun looting this 13-story humongous uh, largest POI in uh, the game. And it's going to take us a while to get through this, guys. It's probably going to be too... Maybe even three episodes all told. Uh, but we'll just see, you know, how things go and how editing goes and whatnot. But let's get this party started and have some fun.
wasn't smart. I'm supposed to keep my spare in slot number one. Okay, let's take a, a bandage. Unfortunately, I had to use my loud weapon, so I got the attention of some of the Zekers outside. But hopefully they'll just beat on the outside and won't try and come through the front door. Pull the pistol. Okay, so we're done with the first floor, but I'm gonna go out and unload, and we might as well deal with these guys whilst we're at it. That sounds like a, probably a burner. <laughs> I wonder if that even hurts him at all. He probably really likes that. I don't think he likes that though. Well, now that's odd. The two things on my compass indicate there's two zombies below me. But I thought we cleared that corner. Let's go check it again. Yeah, sure enough, there's some Zekers there. Did I not check that corner or did they spawn in after the fact? I wonder if they spawned in when we went outside, but we didn't, like, leave the perimeter or we would have failed the quest. Not sure. But we gotta kill him. Down with the sickness. Alright. Any other red dots showing on this floor? Nope, they're all upstairs now. Okay. Let's get back at it. Guess that works. Wasn't sure if I, it was going to give me a headshot on that one or not. Oh my goodness! What the hell? Alright, um... I don't want to use my loud weapons if I don't have to. Can we... snipe these guys from like the corner or something? Oh man, that scared the hell out of me. Good lord, look at them all. I want to kill these um, ones that are staying quiet first, just because um, I don't want to wake all of them up at the same time, you know? i tell you what, we got a Zombo in here. Let's kill it so we don't wake them up. It's irradiated too, of course. Knock it off, buzzard! 
Okay, we did we kill him? No, we didn't. Now yeah, we did. Alright, come here, you son of a bitch. Oh, he is still alive. That, oh, that... Wait, what? Oh, that's a different one. Okay. <laughs> he was, like, right on top of the other one. <laughs> like, what the hell? Okay. We finally took care of them bastards. Uh, we got some books here. So, I don't... I don't know if Lucky's matter for, for books or not, but let's... Let's just wear them anyway and see what happens. Alright, we don't know that. Okay, I think we have finished floor two. So let's go back down to the Jeep and unload again. Before we go up to three. Eventually we're going to, um, you know, just stay up there and do some drop chests. But while we're still, you know, down here and close enough to the Jeep, we'll keep unloading down here. Because we're going to have so much loot by the time we're all done with this. We've got a few more... Zombos that need to be dealt with outside, too. Is that a crossbow bolt? It sure is. I'll take it. Now, we're normally supposed to go up the elevator shaft where I just was a while ago to get up to the next floor, but I just like to put in. Uh, you know, go up this way because we're going to be coming down this way several times throughout this, you know, to drop stuff off and whatnot, so. All right, floor three, here we go. Okay, it's morning, so we're going to switch back to our uh, nerdies, and I'm going to turn the uh, the gamma up just a little bit. I mean, it's, it's really bright right there because we're out of the light, but elsewhere it's probably going to be a bit dark. So let's turn this back up to 48, and we should be able to keep it on that for uh, for this whole time. Okay, that went pretty well. Uh, two of these guys were armored, armored tough dudes, so wasn't sure, but uh, we managed to take them out. Let's see what we got in the munitions box. Well, we woke him up now. Bring that head up here.
we've got a point. We are going to put that, um, let's see, what are we working on? We're working on fortitude, and we're working on pain tolerance and healing factor. So let's put this in healing factor three. And if you didn't catch uh, the last time I talked about the skill points, the reason, the main reason I like this is because it says that we gain one max health every 40 seconds, which basically means that every 40 seconds it increases our health cap until it gets our health cap back to 100%. Uh, so that's really cool because now, you know, not only will we automatically heal uh, every 12 seconds, one point, uh, but we'll also eventually get our health cap back without having to take advantage. So uh, that's really, really, really handy to have. Let's go ahead and see what we have in the safe. Oh, let's do the loot bag too. Let's see what the loot bag has. Goth boots. Um... Those aren't worth a ton. I don't think I'm going to take them. Let's get our crossbow bolts back here. Check the safe. All right. That's worth worth a little bit of money. We'll take those for selling. Something just occurred to me. I don't have a rad remover on this. <laughs> I should probably, uh, I don't know, probably take the structural brace mod off and put a rad remover on it. Um, when we were in the hospital, I don't know if you guys, if you guys saw that episode. It took me forever to kill a couple of irradiated bikers, and it just now occurred to me that having a rad remover on our spear would probably make that little process go just a bit faster. Uh, let's eat this. Okay, so we are obviously we're on floor three, but I never, never actually got all the way through floor. Oh, no, I'm sorry, we're on four floor, 
floor four. Mouth, work, please. Thank you. Um, but we never went over to the other side of floor three. And I guess I don't remember exactly how to get over there unless we were supposed to go up. I'll bet you we were supposed to go up the elevator shaft. That's probably the, the way we're supposed to go. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we need to unload anyway. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back down to the Jeep. This will probably be our last time uh, going down to the Jeep. You've got Sham, Chili, and Dogfoot. I want all three of those things. Um, what am I willing to give up for it? I'm willing to give up two things of cloth. I'm willing to give up scrap iron. And we already have lucky goggles on, don't we? I should actually have these back on. We don't need two things of luckies. They're not worth that much money, so I'm tossing them. Because I want to buy this for chili dogs, this for learning elixir, and this for sham chowder. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and harvest this sink. Okay, so I think we're supposed to parkour up that way to get to the next floor. There we go. Okay. So let's finish out floor three here. This is actually where we were supposed to start. But uh, a lot of usually when I come and do this building, I uh, I just go up the stairwell and you know I put those blocks down. But we need to follow the f the whole path because we have to kill all the zombies and we'll we'll miss some zekers if we don't uh, you know if we don't take the full path. So let's continue on. Okay, we're back to the stairwell, and now we have fully completed this floor here. So, let's see. I think what we should do is... Uh, let's go back up this way. And this is where we left off. And yeah, yes, we have a full bag again already. <laughs> Well, okay, we can toss those. Uh, we can actually also turn that into duct tape, so that'll save us another spot.
wow, look at this. Add your chance to harvest acid from cars and medical equipment. Okay, we don't need acid anymore. We got tons of it, but it'll help us <coughs> get to the end, uh, or, or go towards, rather, getting the bonus for Wasteland Treasures. Um, all right, so let's see. Where are we with that? Let's look at this. Wasteland Treasures... Wasteland treasures. Okay, we need. Uh, we only need two more. The, the mineral water, which is a really rare one to find, and harvesting doorknobs for most doors. All right, cool. And then um, then we'll be able to harvest military fibers again. Not really something we actually need, but whatever. It's kind of fun to do, you know, for the achievement too, if nothing else. Ooh, look at that, hobo stew. Okay, we probably won't be making it, but now we know it. Now we know it. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of hobo stew. I know it's good stuff, but I just don't like the idea of eating something made out of rotten meat. <laughs> game or no game? Up here, shotgun side volume one. Shotguns do 10% more damage. Yes, please. And awesome, we got the shotgun Saya uh, achievement. Do shotgun Saya. You can one shot most wood blocks, bulk craft all shotgun ammo. Okay, very cool. Um, that will be uh, useful if and when we go back to our tank and spank build. Very nice. Very nice. So that means we've achieved three now we've, we've achieved night stalker hunter's journal and shotgun messiah pretty cool and uh getting close to some of the some of the rest of these too sniper we only need the, yeah that, i really would like to get that too hopefully we'll come across uh, this one soon uh, then we can craft a ghillie suit now i don't know i don't know if the ghillie suit is i mean it, it suggests that it gives you camouflage. Blending with your environment becomes the ultimate assassin by wearing a camouflage ghillie suit. You can craft a ghillie suit. I'm not sure if that is in fact, uh, or does rather in fact make you more stealthy, or if it's just for funsies. I don't know, but it would be kind of cool, you know, with this particular build, you know, to go around in a ghillie suit. So hopefully we will come across that soon. All right, we have completed the fourth floor. right yep fourth floor so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start leaving drop chests um, here in the stairwell so we probably I don't know we'll probably do one maybe every third floor or so just depends because you know the, the higher up we get obviously uh, the more of a pain in the ass it's gonna be for us to have to continue to run back down to the Jeep uh, I mean, eventually I'm going to have to get it all anyways, but most of that I can do off camera. Let's go hit floor number five. 